And they're off. It's Giant Chill for the lead. That's American winner in second with High Noon Star. Tucked in along the inside third. Toss out is fourth. Round the first turn they go. And John Patterson Jr. gets to the front with Giant Chill. Who leads it a length and a half. High Noon Star second. Here comes Pierce with American winner looking for the lead as they go by the quarter. Then it's two and a half. The toss out in fourth. King Levesque fifth. Hein Chip, the outside sixth. Then it's Dry Wine with Turbo Thrust and Capital Star. 28 and 3 for the first quarter. An American winner rushing to the top. Giant Chill in second. Two back. High Noon Star third. Then a length and a half. The toss out in fourth. King Levesque, the inside fifth. Hein Chip is sixth. After that, Dry Wine with Capital Star and Turbo Thrust. The half in 56 and 4. On to the far turn they go. And it's American winner who leads it by two. High Noon Star. Stablemate in second with Giant Chill third. Moving up a second over trip. Toss out in fourth with King Levesque. The inside fifth. Hein Chip and Campbell coming into contention. They approach three quarters. And it's American winner in front by a head. Right there is High Noon Star. Pine Chip making a big move. Three quarters, one, 25 and four. They're on their way home in the Hamiltonian. An American winner by two and a half, three. Up on the outside, Pine Chip is gaining steadily. But with a 16th to go, American winner and Pierce by two and a half, three. It's all American winner. The sword is up for Pierce in 153 and 2. What an effort by American winner. And we have a shot at a triple crown. Back and to you I am guys. With two American winners, Milton Smith, the trainer, Bob Key, the owner. What's it like to win the Hamiltonian? I, I can't even believe it. It's the greatest thrill in the world. And I'll tell you what, it's going to be that way for weeks. <laughs> hey, Milton, have you seen him cry before? Uh, <laughs> <All right. laughs> it's just great. Uh, Did you ever dream? No. Never thought I'd ever be here. What's it like? I can't even talk right now. We can see it in your face. I'll tell you what, he deserves every bit of it, too. He's the hardest worker I've got. He stayed right with it. And you can see he's done a tremendous job with this horse. And he took a heck of a chance, and we went and put the cheat on it. And that was his decision. It sure made the difference, too. I'll tell you right now. Yeah. How about High Noon Star? He got sort of lost in the shuffle this afternoon. He was third, and uh, that's great. And I took a chance on him. I pulled his back shoes before this last race, and I wasn't going to tell Bob about him until after I seen how he done. But he done all right, so yes. <laughs> everything worked out great. You've done all right, both of you. And uh, even the losers are winners here this afternoon. Let's go over. On Pierce. Ronnie, hey, the whip Campbell. in the air and moment of jubilation in your career. You've been to Macau in China, you've been in California, and this is the triumph. Yes, it sure is. It, uh, thrilling, Stan, just absolutely thrilling. Last week, your horse got beat by Pine Chip. Your feelings then and your feelings today with the new bench shaft sulky, did it make a difference? Uh, it seemed to step them up a little bit. That and racing back in a week helped a lot, too. Um, <laughs> you said that this horse races like a pacer. What did you mean by that? He's very handy. You do anything you want to with him. You go anywhere you want, do anything you want. He's just a very handy colt. It was a win here, and the red, white, and blue silks of American winnings, winnings, winner's driver, Stan Bergstein, congratulating you for a very magnificent triumph. Ronnie Pierce, highlight of your career. It uh, certainly is. Thank you very much. But there's going we'll to be, be more winners, and uh, Ron Pierce is going to have a lot to say about this sport in the future.